in the late 1970s, but now in 2014, was out of the comfort of his familiar surroundings here in New York City. <laughs> Jamal was looking for a job. He had left his beautiful, sweet, plump wife, Letitia, and a two-year-old son, Mandel, some three weeks ago, with his sincere hope that he would find something permanent up north and would send for his family to join him once he was employed and settled in his new situation. His only comfort was an old portable CD player that he had brought with him to while away the lonely evening hours, pining for home and praying that tomorrow would be another day and a better one. The room he had rented by the week faced it onto the Titanic Avenue in East New York and Brooklyn. For him, 250 square feet was home for the time being. Suddenly, the unmistakable sounds of acapella singing drifted in through the openings of the window frames that were desperately, but unsuccessfully, trying to keep out the early March chill. Jamal ran to the window, and aided by the street light illuminating an old barrel that was housing flickering flames, dancing in the broken darkness, he was able to make out the smiling faces of six young African American boys, avoiding the rising efforts he made from the container, getting much pleasure in the sweet harmonies that were gently soothing the otherwise harsh music. The loneliness that once filled your mouth soul was instantly transformed into content, thanks to that good old acapella. Oh. 
regard of the feet after the leaf, when you hear of something that's distressing, or let's say for some reason the New York Rangers score a goal, we all come out with, oh, oh. that's right, ready? One, two, three. Oh. Thank <laughs> you. 